Hey there everyone, I recently got this gas mask from CH Cadell's and I'll open this up here in a sec, but uh, first off before I get into this, this isn't necessarily a five star review or anything. So I just want to make sure, I, you know, to mention that this is not a bash on CH Cadell's. I actually like the store, the online store. They got some, they have some pretty cool stuff, but I just wanted to go through what a military surplus gas mask is and if it's actually worth the money. Uh, these are only about 13 bucks and honestly I got this as kind of a a gag gift for my son who is constantly giving me a hard time we kind of go back and forth uh, constantly giving me a hard time about being a doomsday prepper you know really extreme and all that so I figured you know I'm gonna get you a damn gas mask for Christmas um, so that's what I did and while when I saw these and I saw that they were available for like 13 bucks and all of these surplus gas masks you can get for around that price 20 bucks um, I wanted to do some research to find out are they actually worth it or is this kind of you know basically a prop something like that so what you get it comes in this this military bag and at, at CH Cadell's they sell them all over the place but they're at CH Cadell's I think they have like four different types but this is the 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 check M10M mask and it comes in this military surplus bag um, you know it's basically it's it's simple it's you know it's what you would expect from something with military surplus and then inside and I've already opened this up so this comes sealed the one I got anyway I've read some things on the survivalist boards about this sometimes they're not sealed and all that um, but this one was and then it comes with a couple extra I believe these are fiberglass filters which there's you know there's the problem with the military surplus and I'll get into that in a second and it comes with the gas mask here which it's also got a couple extra eye lenses or a extra eye lens right here and then I believe these are the activated charcoal filters uh, and these are you know it's not sealed so and I know that if properly sealed activated charcoal will will last forever but these aren't sealed so you know who knows uh, and the mask here it seems like the the plastic and everything is is in good condition uh, for being surplus I've read a couple things on survivalist boards as well and I like you know on a kind of on a side note survivalist boards is a pretty cool forum because it has a lot of different opinions and a lot of people that know what they're talking about um, so if you get one guy that tells you one thing and it's blatantly wrong there's a lot of people there that are gonna say hey don't listen to him that's not good advice and there's people on there that say hey you know what I'm not real sure but this is what I think and it gives you some ideas to look stuff up so I anyway I like survivalist boards but they talked about how sometimes this plastic this rubber can become old fragile uh, and cracked and not not uh, as functional as it should be um, but this seems like pre a pretty good quality it seems like it's it's you know in the condition it should be but my issue with the military surplus and you know I'm not a guru on what types of masks filters all of that stuff for nuclear wars uh, fallout chemicals all of that stuff um, but from what I've read and what I understand and if you guys have any comments or know any any more have any suggestions please leave a comment below but what I've read is there's their their military surplus for a reason um, they're either really old outdated um, they're past their expiration dates and you know just like canned foods I assume that um, just because they're past their expiration dates doesn't mean they're ineffective it just means that the military isn't going to put people's lives on the line for something that might not work so uh, but again with the military surplus how long has it actually been classified as surplus how old is it how is it packaged like these these activated char char charcoal filters uh, great and all but you know are they gonna are they gonna last are they gonna do anything for you and that's the issue you get into with this military surplus stuff yeah it's a great price but are you willing to you know put your life on the line basically and trust these now just because they you know I wouldn't personally trust this for some kind of nuclear fallout thing or chemical biological attack they're gonna be better than a bandana I mean they're going to be better than you've seen like on that the movie 10 Cloverfield Lane where they have the two liter water bottle gas homemade gas mask it's going to be better than something like that and you could probably actually find some of these activated carbon these charcoal filters um, for a certain types of gas masks you just have to do some research and figure it out you could probably find some of these that lasted but they you know depending on how they're packaged they, they're only good for a certain amount of time these fiberglass filters I believe don't last and these are actually sealed in the bag but 
you know, it's not mylar or anything, so I'm not sure how much I would trust these either. Uh, but they are actually sealed. Uh, so my whole, I guess my whole point with these is they're they're kind of cool masks, but don't if you're gonna if you're really worried about something like this and you really want something that is gonna protect you and your family, don't put your money on these military surplus. Better than nothing, yeah, but um, you know do your research, figure out the pros and cons, figure out, and there might even be people out there that know more about these and know how you can make these functional. Um, I don't. If you're listening, please leave a comment below and and let all of us know. But um, you know, for the for the most part, I say yeah. If you want to get one, 12, 13 bucks, twenty bucks, not bad, just to, to grab one and, and see what you can do. But it's something I wouldn't put my life on the line or the life of my family on the line for with one of these. Um, you know, it's quite possible, and like I said, I don't know the specs on all these, but the the masks, the painters' masks you can get from Home Depot, uh, probably better than one of these military surplus masks. Uh, but that's it. Like I said, if you have any comments, if you know any of this. Um, this information that might be helpful to others and me as well. Uh, please leave a comment below. Make sure and subscribe uh, and we'll talk to everybody later.